So in an effort to document how this arrived to me for return purposes, but also for, um, you know, other purposes, I'm going to unbox the thing. So I can take this now. Generic white box, as always. Um, where's the... It opens somewhere on the side here. Okay, I see how it opens now. <clears throat> I appreciate the dedication to making it look nice. Okay. Just what I needed. Peanuts. Another USB-C cable. To add to the other ones that I have. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> gonna move you out here real quick. Don't fall on the floor, dang it. Okay, this one's getting the Graphene OS treatment, so it was, I bl let me check, I need, yeah, my muscle memory was kicking in, yeah, said it was good condition, so there are a couple small scratches in there, I think, yeah, you can see it right there. Um, other than that, it's mostly okay. I'm going to get a screen protector for it in a case. But first thing I think I want to do is graphene it up. So I'm kind of curious. Darn it. Um, comparatively in size, this is the XL model, so it is about the same size as the Pixel Pro, so I didn't really go down in size per se, but yeah. Um, okay, so we got a Mikey phone right in here, all the ca fancy cameras and whatnot. Uh, da 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 gonna that's an earpiece there's a sim card slot that's gonna be important <clears throat> get through my tangle of cords i'm gonna skip that step Skip that step. And then Graphene OS is going to be pretty simple to install onto it, so it's just a matter of getting through here. Yes, skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Pixel Satellite SOS. Hmm. Where it requires Google Messages as your default SMS app. Wow. <clears throat> Skip it. Okay, now we've just got to, there is no screen protector on here, we're going to go to settings, we're going to go to system, we're going to go do the thing, where is it? About phone, 
There it is. System. Developer options. Okay. This is the one big thing that I was looking for that was going to be really important for graphing OS. And so now that I have that unlocked, I don't have to return the phone. But uh, graphing OS install process is going to be pretty, pretty simple. So, so for whatever reason, OBS keeps crashing the flat pack version of it. So we're trying something a little bit different. Hopefully it works out okay. But um, I've got to go download our build for our Pro XL. We're going to go with this one. We're going to curl dash O. And that's going to take a hot minute, maybe. Yeah. Um, not, not too long, though. But we will also copy the address for the signature. So we're, I tried in the browser. It didn't work too well because of permissions things, and I'm not going through messing with it right now. But I've got most of the back-end stuff done. So I can go in and do a flashing unlock here in a second. We will... curl dash O, our sig, and then we can go do as flashing. Fast boot. Flashing unlock. Okay, now it's unlocked. So, or, well, I can do the unlock. So, unlock the bootloader. Bootloader is now unlocked. I don't need OpenSSH, I've already got it already. I've got the factory images done already. Just for fun, we can go. Copy V and then we're gonna go for Komodo, yeah, Komodo, and it is 2025-08-14-00, Komodo, 25-00. It's going to do the thing. Oh, I didn't download the allowed signers one. See, we've got a good image now. And then all we have to do now is go to... Vitar XVF, and it was Komodo. <laughs> I've got ZSH as my shelf, but why you take so long to do the thing? I am using Trivalent here in this um, situation because it seemed appropriate. But yeah. Uh, do as that. Okay. 
did I not grab that one? I think I skipped a step. So good at this. Ba, 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 da, da, da. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It would help if I were in Komodo. Oh, wait. If I would have looked, I would have known. Wait, it is there. <laughs> okay, here's what's wrong. Do it now. Do the thing. It's a pretty simple process when you're not retarded. But anyway, that's neither he here nor there. And now it just runs it all on its own. So I can go back over here. And it's going to go through and flash all. Then we can relock the bootloader later on. Troubleshooting. Still working. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff in here that you can do with it. I've messed around with it on a Pixel 5, but I've got Calyx that I have to update my backups on. And then I will move it over to Graphene and then start pushing things around wherever I feel like it for different users profiles and all but right now it's a matter of waiting on this to finish okay so it didn't take too long but now all we have to do is go in and do a flashing lock lock the bootloader I don't have an over the phone thing set up, so we are going to boot, just boot the phone up now and it should boot into graphene. But yeah, it's a pretty simple process on a completely new phone um, that came straight out of the box. It didn't last even an hour without getting graphene on it. Okay, guys, future Neff here. So it's been a week so far on, well, a week and a half so far on Graphene OS. I was at DC435 last night, and InfoSec Pope, Pope, he was saying that no one stays on Graphene OS for more than six months. And so in order to spite him, I do plan on staying on Graphene OS for like the rest of the life of the phone, which is likely to be like a year, at least a year. So there's going to be that. There's one other guy there that has lived on Graphene OS for two years. But you know me. I've got things that are difficult and make me have, give me a headache to figure out anyway. So I'm pretty sure I'm sticking with graphene os and now i've got another spiteful motivation to do it as well if you liked the content if you enjoyed it if you think i deserve it like comment subscribe leave any criticisms you have or what have you i appreciate it feed that algorithm like i said and i will see you guys in the next one